Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. That sign that says image of the beast, that is the picture that they post all throughout the world saying that Christ is a white man. That is lies. We can show you in the Bible that other image there that has description underneath, that's how Christ looked. That's how he's depicted. He's a black man. He looked like you. But guess what? When you follow Christianity, when you listen to Christianity, what come with Christianity is Easter. That's right. What come with Christianity is Valentine's Day, Bring Mother's Day, all these days that God ain't give us. How we show we love God? Sir, how we show we love God? Because we believe the Bible, right? We just talking about the Bible. You don't see young men with the Bible. Not in today's age. So you got young men out here with the Bible. Come in here to talk about what? Talk about God. And the question I ask, why are we going to church today? Why are people going to church all over the city? Why are we celebrating Easter? Does Easter Sunday have anything to do with God? Is it in the Bible? That's the question I'm posing. Read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Read it again. For this is the love of God. So. If we want to know how to love God, how do we love God? Read. That we keep His commandments. You love God by keeping His commandments. Now the question that I ask, I ask, where is Easter in the Bible? Where is Easter in the Bible? Because if we love God, we're supposed to keep His commandments. If I go to Leviticus 23, does Leviticus 23 list Easter in there? I'm posing the question because we're supposed to all be God-fearing people. We're supposed to all believe in God. Let's get Acts 12 and verse 1. Because the understanding may be that you may say Easter is God-fearing. Easter is the day that's about God. But one thing we don't do as a people, we don't read. Bring it out. All I did was ask a question. And when I asked the question, it was all type of statements made, don't talk to us. We here to talk about God. I just asked a question. I'm asking a question. I'm over here, sir. I just asked a question. Where's Easter in the Bible? That's all. Where's Easter in the Bible? Get yeah, Acts 12, verse 1. It's the book of Acts. Chapter 12 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. To do what? Vex certain of the church. So for those of y'all that actually had a question that thought in your mind, where does Easter come from? Is it really in the Bible? Is it really of God? We're reading history that happened with the disciples. Y'all familiar with Peter, James, John? The men that walked with Christ. So we're reading about the days when they was living, when they was traveling, when they was teaching. Read. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. So you read it right now that what? Herod, which was a Caucasian man at this time, a ruler over our people because we are the real Jews according to the Bible. All y'all are. You are God's chosen people. That's right. So Herod, a Caucasian man, was killing the disciples. Doing what? Read. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he saw it pleased some of the wicked of our people. Read. He proceeded further to take Peter also. His plan was to what? He killed James, the brother of John. If you're familiar with James and John, they was brothers. Read. Then were the days of our bread. Verse 4. 
And when he had, now hold on. It said, then was the days of unleavened bread. I'm speaking to the people that actually have questions about what the Bible says. We out here talking about God. It's young men doing more evil and more wickedness in Lawndale. But you got young men standing up here talking about God. Asking questions about the Bible. Bring it out. That us as the people say we believe in. Bring it out. But when the Bible come out and we read it and we just ask our people to ask questions. We ask our people to just think for a second. Yeah. Right. Stop doing what the world tells you to do. Bring the world out. says celebrate Easter. Bring but take some time, open the Bible and read and see if it's in there. Right. Last time I checked, the Bible says obey God rather than man. Right. Easter is man-made. We're going to show you that. Why? Because we care about our people. In this same stuff we're going to show you, you can research it. Read. Verse 4, and when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison. Hold on, it said then was the days of what? Then were the days of unleavened bread. So around the springtime, for those of y'all that actually care to learn and see what it is you celebrate, during the springtime, the Israelites, the Jews, which are you, we celebrate Passover. That's right. That's what the days of unleavened bread is. That's what that's what we come to Lawndale to do. Teach the truth. Show the truth in Lawndale. Right. The days of unleavened bread means Passover. Right. That's right. We wasn't celebrating Easter, but who was? Three. Verse four. And we had apprehended him. He put him in prison and deliver him to the four quarantines of soldiers to keep him. Uh-huh. He tended after Easter. After what? Easter. After what? Easter. After Easter. The other nations do that. So they was killing your forefathers. The men that you come from, you come from Peter. Our forefathers or our grandfathers in this Bible was getting killed on that day. Right. Why are you celebrating that? This book is called The Pagan Origin of Christian Holidays. The religion Christianity was made by the Caucasian man, the white man. Now, you learn Christianity in slavery. Right. With Christianity comes what? The false image of Christ. And what? Easter. False holidays. Read that. Out of page 39. Origin of the word Easter. Uh-huh. In Acts 12 and 4, we find the only instance of the word Easter in the Bible. Uh -huh. However, the word was translated from the Greek word Pascha, which means Passover. Uh -huh. When reading in context, it becomes clear that Luke is now referring the time of Easter as Christian tradition proclaims. Uh -huh. As Acts 12 reads, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, uh -huh. he further proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. So what did it just tell you? It told you what? That was a translation. But remember what I said, the heathens, the other nations, the other races of people celebrate that, not us. We were celebrating Passover. That's right. Passover is the day of preparation for the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Passover is the day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the preparation of it. So those of y'all that care to learn all of these different religions, we're going to read them. Baptist, Mormon, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, and Pentecostal. This is a sign. It says man-made religion. We out here teaching. We're not out here threatening anyone. We are sharing information. If you care to listen, learn. Baptist. Let's get true nationality. Let me Baptist. check this one out right here. How y'all doing, sisters? Hello, how you doing? Now y'all young ladies. Like some that y'all don't know. Well, I won't say that y'all don't know. Some that you see. The younger generation is more acceptable of learning new things. Am I right or am I wrong? Young people, they'll learn things. They don't shun things as quick. But what they say about older people sometimes, they said they what? They said they what? Y'all ever heard that saying? They say old people be set in they what? Set in they ways. Stuck in they ways. So somebody told you celebrate Easter and they said that it's of God. They said follow Christianity, be a Christian, that that's of God. But then when we look at history, it out. come around this way, sis. Come around this way. Come around this way. Because I want y'all to see this sign. Y'all got y'all smartphones? Y'all can post this. Now, 
Somebody tell you be a Baptist. What's your name? Deanna. Deanna, what's your name, sis? Kayla and Deanna. They tell you be a Baptist, but when you look up Baptist, a white man made that, John Smith. When you look up Mormon, Joseph Smith, white man made that. They say be a Seventh-day Adventist. Ellen G. White made that. And another man, I can't remember his name, she supported him in making Seventh-day Adventist. Charles T. Russell, Jehovah's Witness. And then when you see these dates, 1608, 1830, 1863, 1872, what was we doing that time? Look right here. This is where we was at when they was making that stuff. That's why today our people celebrate things like what? Easter. Get out. Now give me first time. Read that. Easter is another God. God never told us to celebrate Easter. Right. I'm going to ask you a question that we've had. He asked the same question yesterday. Explain to me the best you can because it don't make sense. I'm going to laugh even talking about you. What do a bunny rabbit got to do with God? I posed the question to the, the whole neighborhood along there. You finna buy the basket with the bunny and the eggs. You finna do Easter egg hunt. What they got to do with God? We learned that in slave. When this was going on, this is when we learned all this. Right Remember, if you in chains, who dictate what you learn? The, white the slave master, the white man, he That's dictate right. what you learn. Read that real quick. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 7 and verse 3. Uh -huh. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, uh -huh. saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, uh -huh. then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth. Do what? And put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth. God commanded us to put away the strange gods. What's the strange god? This stuff on this sign. Teach. Easter. God didn't tell our people to do that. Believe it or not, sis, what we showing you today, you are the Israelites. That's right. You see yourself on this sign? Where were The first one, tribe of Judah. You know who else come from Judah? Jesus Christ. That's right. So if Jesus Christ come from Judah, that means y'all what? You Judah and what? You related to Christ. That's right. So if you related to Christ, what color is Christ? Black. He's a black man. That's you know what else come with this? Look down here. That sign that says image of the beast. That is the picture that they post all throughout the world saying that Christ is a white man. Right that on. is lies. We can show you in the Bible that other image there that has description underneath. That's how Christ looked. That's how he's depicted. He's a black man. He looked like you. But guess what? When you follow Christianity, when you listen to Christianity, what come with Christianity is Easter. That's right. What come with Christianity is Valentine's Day, Bring Mother's Day, all these days that God ain't give us. Six. Read that again. And Samuel spake unto all the house of Israel, saying, If you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you. So Ashtaroth, that's Ishtar, that's Easter. All that stuff come from another God. And when we celebrate that stuff, this is what we're doing. Deuteronomy 32, 17. Bring it out. Yeah, finish that. Read. And prepare your hearts unto the Lord uh -huh. and serve him only. Do what? Serve him only. I want you to only serve him. That's right. All this other stuff in the other days that I mentioned, that's not in the Bible. Teach. God don't want you serving that. He wants you to read his word and do what his word says. If it ain't in here, I ain't doing it. That should be your mindset. Right. Easter ain't in here, so why we doing it? Bring it out. And bunnies don't lay eggs. And bunnies don't lay eggs. You can't stress that enough. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32, 17. Because this is what we doing when we celebrate that stuff. Because y'all young, it's some hope. The reason why I say it's some hope is because when we get to a certain age, we get stuck in our ways and we don't want to learn anything. Can't nobody tell us nothing. When you young, right, when you young, your mind ain't that corrupt. You get what I'm saying? So when you hear lies, you still got a chance to like, oh, hold on, that don't sound right. There you go. Christ a white man, wait a minute. What white man got hung and killed? What white? That's just history. What white man finna die for the whole world? Right. This is just questions that you gotta ask. Cause how old are like, you 21, right. When you little, right, you get slapped across the head. You can't ask no questions. You just got to do what everybody tell you. 
Why are you putting a tree in the house? Right. Think about this. If this was my GMC and I parked that in my living room, people would think I'm crazy as hell. Why you got your GMC, your truck parked in the living room? Now sound right, right? Why does putting a tree in my house sound right? I'm just posing questions. This is stuff they tell us to do. Put the tree in your house, put the little white angel on top of it, the stars and all this. Where is that in the Bible? God didn't say do it. So I'm trying to provoke y'all to ask questions because obviously our older folk, they don't want to ask no questions. Well, I've been doing it 70 years. But did God say do that? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 17. They sacrifice unto devils. They do what? Sacrifice unto devils. When you worship those things, when you celebrate them, when you follow them, you sacrifice it unto the devil. That's right. Because when you peel back the layers and you do your research and read books, you're like, wait, this stuff's devil worship when you dig deep into it. That's another God. Yeah. Read. They sacrifice unto devils, uh -huh. not to God. Uh -huh. To God whom they know not. Meaning what? Our forefathers, they ain't know nothing about this stuff here. Man made all this stuff up. Easter, this stuff is all man made. So what we trying to get y'all to do? Yeah, Isaiah 34, 16. Read. To new gods that came newly up. Can't stress that these are new gods that came up. New. This stuff new in the earth. Easter ain't no long tradition. This stuff got made up by the same people who put shackles and chains on us. Read. Who your fathers fear not. Who your fathers fear not, meaning what? They didn't know this stuff. So knowing that, why are we celebrating these things? Get uh, Isaiah 29, 13. And then get Isaiah 34, 16. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth, this people was talking about the people on this sign. This people was talking about you and you, us. We are God's people. He says, my people, they draw near me with their mouth, meaning they talk a good game. Don't we all, all love, I'm talking about black people, we be like, I love God. God is my everything. You be hearing people, they rolling on the floor, acting crazy. But what God say, read. And with their lips, do honor me. They talk a good game, read. But have removed their hearts far from me. Our minds is not on God as a people. Read up. We out here with the Bible. Y'all don't want to out here, you, you had a sister getting ready to say something to us. We read the Bible. In Lyondale, do young men read the Bible? No, they pulling triggers in Lyondale. Carjacking in Lyondale. That's right. So when you see something like this, this should make you want to come over. Let me see what these brothers doing. I ain't never seen brothers just come out here and just talk to the people and teach the people. This is what we need. We don't know who we are. Right, right. Because we don't know who we are, we celebrate stuff that don't make no sense. Right. Free. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. You know what that means? It said their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Meaning what? Our understanding of God was taught by them. That's right. They yeah, yeah. taught us our whole understanding of God. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is